And we can now look at that enticing, shining, and shimmering. Uh, oops, the uh, isometric drafting. I know you're all excited for those hot 3D rendering, but again, majority of our working drawings are done in two dimensions. So freeze up and chill down and master first the basics. Heart so order. Now on isometric drafting, activate it by clicking the icon. And strangely enough, it's like magic. You are transported to a planar dimension of the isometric plane. And by default, it is oriented towards the left. We could cycle through the isometric plane options by pressing F5 on your uh, keyboards. So F5, F5, F5. So we have the left plane or left side, the top plane or top view, and the right side view or uh, right plane. However, uh, we are in two-dimensional environment and not in three-dimensional environment so it really is a magic it is fake isometric drafting only changes the orientation of your cursor to 30 degrees 90 degrees and 150 degrees to simulate an isometric view of an object thus it is a flat representation meaning you cannot revolve the object or display it in different viewports to extract its different views from different uh, sides. Or you cannot extract its volume, etc. etc. For a real three-dimensional drafting, we set our workspace through this gear icon on our status bar and click on its down arrow and you could choose from our current uh, workspace intended for 2D drafting to either 3D basics and 3D modeling. So let us see 3D modeling workspace by clicking it. So click and the hieroglyphs are back. But this time with additional toolbars suited for 3D drafting. But to set the uh, environment correctly, we go to the in canvas viewports control here on the upper right corner of your drafting area and the second bracket click on that and select on southeast isometric still it's not uh, looking good because our iso plane is turned on so turn that off iso drafting mode I'll click that to turn that off and behold Ladies and gentlemen, the authentic 3D drafting environment. But once again, don't get too excited. I repeat as the court has ordered, master 2D drafting first. So back to top view. And change your workspace back to annotations or drafting and annotations. And this is the environment for us. 2D drafting. We shall be on drafting and annotations. And speaking of annotation, the three triangular metric uh, scale looking icons here with the 1 is to 1 ratio is where we set scale for annotative objects. More on this on our coming tutorials. Next, after... Workspace is Annotation Monitor, which indicates disassociated annotations in the drawing by placing a badge on them. And again, we shall see this on, on our succeeding uh, videos. Next is Isolate or Hide Objects, but you can access also this through the shortcut menu, Isolate. So let's choose uh, isolate, then select any geometry, 
and then hit enter to isolate and here you could focus modifying just the selected object to end your loneliness i mean your uh of your line just click again on isolate and then end isolation or back to the shortcut menu isolate isolate object Select on the object, enter, and then I could right click again and then isolate and object isolation. And you can experiment with hide on your own. So let's uh, leave that. But uh, this is much more faster than the uh, clicking the icon on the stats bar is much more faster than with the shortcut uh, menu. So for example, I just click, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'll just click on isolate, click on this, and then enter, and then just click on this, and then uh, end object isolation. Next after isolate on the status bar is the graphics configuration. You can turn this on if your system has a dedicated graphics card so that AutoCAD will use it instead of your processor. You can customize this by right-clicking on the icon and then choose the graphics performance. So in the dialog box, you can see your graphics card. It's an old graphics card. And what is useful to us here for 2D is the uh, smooth rendering of Geometries or display of geometries. The rest are essentially for 3D modeling. So just click OK. And next after graphics configuration on my status bar is Autodesk uh, Trusted Drawing or About Autodesk. When I will click this, this will open Autodesk uh, website on their product list of viewers for uh, DWG uh, files. And lastly, just before the icon for customization is clean screen toggle, which could also be done with your control plus zero.